hi there and accent your English teacher. Let's jump in our English class. Há período melhor do que as férias? Eu prefiro aproveitá-las no verão. Agora, há quem gosta de um friozinho. Já pensaram passar o um inverno em Santa Catarina? Passem uma agência de viagem e vejam o que podem encontrar por lá nesse período. Há sempre um encarte, um folheto ou página explicando o que se espera encontrar nos lugares de viagem. Let's check what the winter will be like in Santa Catarina. Look at this image. What does it suggest to us? It will be windy or it will be stormy. Well, the image suggests that the weather will be stormy. But look at here. Will it be stormy for sure? Haverá tempestade com certeza, com raios inclusive e tudo mais? Yes, it will be stormy for sure. No, there is only a chance of 10%. Ah, é possível uma tempestade, mas não com certeza. Há apenas uma chance de 10%. Very good. On the next day, it will drizzle in the afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Look at this image. What is drizzle? A strong storm or a light rain? Yes, drizzle is a light rain, uma garoa. And what will the weather be like on Sunday? It will drop to freezing or it will drizzle all day long. Look at this image. So, excellent. Letter A. Pois é, a temperatura vai cair para baixo de zero. Aqui diz um grau negativo. Isso para mim é muito frio. And you, do you know where Santa Catarina is? Look at the map. Here is Santa Catarina. It's a state which belongs to this region. Which region is it? North, South, Northeast, Central West, or Southeast? Great! South! Imagine a cena de alguém percebendo que está chovendo, abre a cortina e constata. It's raining cats and dogs. Já pensaram nas férias ter que descrever isso? É claro que a expressão é figurativa, mas o que significa? Sim, está chovendo muito. Uma expressão em português com sentido parecido é Está chovendo para cachorro beber água em pé. <risos> Vocês conhecem? Agora, seja nas férias, seja no dia a dia, se previrmos um acontecimento, usamos eu. Mas se tivermos que mostrar decisão no momento do acontecimento, também usamos eu. Look at these scenes and tell me about the best decision. Vendo a situação por acontecer, qual a melhor decisão? Pay attention. It will be stormy. What is the most expected to say? I'll take my umbrella. Or I won't get out of my house. Yes, I won't get out of my house. Pois é, vocês não sairiam numa tempestade sem necessidade, não é mesmo? Now you. Vocês preveem. It will be windy. What is the most expected to say? I will close the windows, or I will take my umbrella. That's it. I will close the windows. It will be raining. What is the most expected to say? I'll take my umbrella. I won't stay at home. Perfect. The most expected to say on a rainy day is, I will take my umbrella. Já pensaram no que vão fazer nas férias de janeiro? Vamos dizer que vão decidir em cima da hora. Vejam a seguir quem já está pensando nisso e para onde vai. Pay attention. Hi, I'm Caio. To decide where we will travel in our January holiday, my parents and I went to a travel agency to know more about some places in Brazil. In fact, we tend to travel to Aracaju.
Are you ready to answer? Let's check. What is his name? Caio or Marcos? Perfect, Caio. Hi, I'm Caio. Where did Caio and his parents go to know more about the places to travel in Brazil? They went to a post office or to a travel agency? Yes, letter B. My parents and I went to a travel agency to know more about some places in Brazil. Where do they intend to travel in their January holiday? To Aracaju or to the south of Brazil? Very good, letter A. In fact, we intend to travel to Aracaju. And now, do you know where Aracaju is? Look at the globe. Aracaju is right here. Here is Aracaju, and this is the region it belongs to. Which region is it? Yeah, the northeast of Brazil. O que será que Caio e seus pais aprenderam sobre Aracaju na agência de turismo? A agente de viagem mostrou este folheto ilustrativo sobre o tempo durante o verão da cidade. It explains what the weather will probably be like in Aracaju. Pay attention. Look at the first day. What will the weather be like? Yes, it will be a pretty warm day. Look at the second day. What does this image mean? The day will be mostly cloudy or the day will be partly cloudy? Excellent, the day will be partly cloudy. So, will it rain on Tuesday? Yes, it will rain. No, it won't rain. Look. Perfect, letter B. It says that there is a chance of 70% of a beautiful sunny day. Awesome! Look at the third day. What does this 20% mean? It won't rain? Or the chance of rain is low, only 20%? Não choverá ou a chance de chover é baixa, só 20%. Very good. Let her be. É claro que esse folheto é uma previsão meramente ilustrativa para a agência explicar aos seus clientes sobre os lugares que eles querem visitar. Let's listen to Caio again and see what he learned about Aracaju. Dad asked about the weather in Aracaju during January. The travel agent explained that it's mostly sunny in the summer. The average minimum temperature is near 24 degrees Celsius felt at night. The daytime average temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. There is a chance of 20% of rain during the month. Well, Aracaju is generally pretty warm. Now let's review Caio's speech. Listen and complete. Listen to the audio. Dad asked about the weather in Aracaju during January. The travel agent explained that it's mostly sunny in the summer. Complete Caio's sentences. The words for it are mostly sunny, the weather, summer. Now, complete attention to the images. Dad asked about the weather in Aracaju during January. The travel agent explained it that is mostly sunny in the summer. Very good. Listen to the audio. The average minimum temperature is near 24 degrees Celsius felt at night. The daytime average temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. 
there is a chance of 20% of rain during the month. Well, Aracaju is generally pretty warm. Now the words are at night, temperature, 20% of rain. Now complete. The average minimum temperature is near 24 degrees Celsius felt at night. The daytime average temperature is near 29 degrees Celsius. There is a chance of 20% of rain. Very good. Pay attention to these sentences. It will be stormy. I won't get out. Want, will not. It will be rainy. I won't stay at home. Want, will not. What do these sentences have in common? Yes, will. Will plus verb. Will not, want plus verb. And the sentences are in the present, past, or future. That's it, future. It's time to practice. Will in the negative, want. Use these parts in the negative with will. I stay at home. I want stay at home. Now you. Caio, travel to Santa Catarina. Caio won't travel to Santa Catarina. Let's continue. The summer in Aracaju be so hot. The summer in Aracaju won't be so hot. Perfect. The temperature drop to zero degrees Celsius. Yes, the temperature won't drop to zero degrees Celsius. Good job! Nosso país é lindo. Tem lugar para todos os gostos. Para onde gostariam de ir, passar as férias? Vocês acham ruim planejar tudo? Um pouquinho de precaução não faz mal a ninguém, não é mesmo? O que pode acontecer se não checarem como estão as estradas e o tempo antes de aproveitar as férias? Think about it. Desafio vocês a procurarem na internet expressões em inglês sobre o tempo e vejam se há alguma relação com uma outra parecida em português. Bem, hoje revisamos. Como falar sobre as condições do tempo. Como prever e decidir usando o futuro. Well, we got to the end of this class. Thanks, students. See you. Take care.